Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jacob Restituto, and I'm a musician from Northport, New York, and I am pumped because Ed Sheeran is one of my favorite artists. Actually, one of the artists that inspired me to really go for it as a musician and 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 take the leap of faith that I took seven years ago to drop in out of college to be the musician that I am today. And I am pumped. I always love enjoying, and I love enjoy. I love enjoying, I, I enjoy and love Ed's music, so I'm looking forward to hearing his most recent song, Bad Habits. I'm sure you guys have probably already seen the video. I have not, actually, uh, so this is going to be my first. I was I was away on a trip uh, when he released this, so I haven't seen it, so I'm looking forward to seeing it, uh, looking forward to hearing it. He's always changing his music, though, like in, 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 a, in a cool way. Like I think it's cool for artists to like you know continue to grow as artists and, and, and try different genres and stuff, so I'm, I have a feeling it's probably not going to be the Ed that we're used to. Um, which is a good thing. I think it's cool. I think it, I respect that as an artist. It takes a leap of faith to go and try something new as an, uh, you know, as a, as a someone, when something works so well to go and try something new, I think it's, it's hard. So I respect that a lot. And let's see, we got this still trending. Uh, today is the 28th that I'm filming this, uh, it's, it's released on 25th, three days later, still trending, which is cool. This is Ed Sheeran's Bad Habits. Really nice. Okay, cool. Well, notice the uh, the instrumentation, like you hear the ambient noise of the, the city going around, and then it kind of fades out as the music fades in, and it becomes a lot more um, crisp, like it's just more studio music, obviously, as opposed to like the ambient noise. The walking quiets down. Every time you come around, you know I can't say no. Wow, hold up a sec. Every time the sun goes down, I let you take control. Very produced vocals. That is very different than Ed's typical stuff, man. That's wild. He is very um usually like raw vocals usually like like you could just you, uh, he's no, um he started with his acoustic stuff which was super raw but even like sing and stuff like it's it, it wasn't as produced this is very very produced pop style vocals like you know high compression a decent amount of pitch correction like there's no like i don't even know if there's vibrato very very uh you know very produced is, is and there's nothing wrong with that it's just a stylistic choice that we're i'm not used to hearing with ed sheeran Really cool low pass filter on the drums. I mean on the guitar. The world and tonight had something wonderful. Wow, really okay. interesting. I gotta pause this again. It, it kinda reminds me of a mix between vocal production, a mix between like I want to say Coldplay, Chris Martin, and honestly One Direction's like Louis Tomlinson a bit. Uh, maybe a little bit of Niall Horan. I feel like just that very um, tight vocal, uh, really like it's it's produced and 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 One Direction had the produced style vocal just because they were going for that style of music. This is very very interesting, man. Very different for Ed. It's pretty cool. Huge reverb throw on that. Let's talk about this really quick. Really, really interesting um, production choice right there. So we all 100% know this is going to be the, the radio hit for the summer. It's just that's what Ed Sheeran does. Like this is going to be stylistically the next Sing, I think. And Sing was on the radio forever. Uh, it just it, 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 it lends itself really well to the radio. I wouldn't be – I mean – I wouldn't be surprised if this breaks his... I think Sing broke his record for... I think it was the first song to cross a Billy... Is it... No, it was... Um, It wasn't Sing. I'm sorry. Not Sing. Uh, it was... Um, uh, bum. I could hear the synth in my head. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'll remember in a sec. Shape of You. Uh, that was the first song to break a billion streams on, on, on Spotify. Uh, really interesting production choice. Not his first song. The, the first song, period, by the way, to ever break a billion streams on Spotify. 
Uh, production choice, very, uh, in the chorus, we had this um, very, it was only the bass. It was syncopated between the bass and the, the kick drum. Kick drum on the downbeat, uh, bass on the upbeat, giving this boom, 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 boom like on the upbeat. Syncopation is when you emphasize the and of a, of a, of a, of a, a beat. And so it's like one and, two and, three and, four. Boom, 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 kind of thing. And then very um just the spare spare, spare vocals uh not layer obviously they probably are layered to thicken up but didn't have the distinct sound of layered vocals um but what they did have is a very far back almost echo like reverb going on kind of almost like a like like a slapback echo but I think it was more like it's probably both echo and reverb but given that very and then it comes in with the 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 intro synth I believe. <laughs> Oh, I, the reason I left though was that that uh, product placement by Heinz Ketchup, which we know he loves ketchup. You hear the phaser in the right ear? Every pure intention ends when the good times start. Falling over that was cool. Almost like a vocal kind of like in there, go moving up like that. Start. That's cool. Falling over everything to reach Very the first time cats. spark. It started on a neon light and then it all got dark. I only know how to go too far. My bad habits lead to life. Notice how he's slowly adding this move. Start with the bass and kick uh, vocals, and then he. Uh, yeah, and then he starts to add the snare, kind of uh, fatten it up. But it's not as, as sparse as it was in the intro. The kick's a lot more apparent. Not intro, the first verse. Hear that far back reverb? That instrumentation in the back is sick. Yo, I thought Etchin was about to drop a vocal chop. That would have been wild, man. Like some sort of chop of his vocal. That would have been cool. But uh, I like this a lot. It's very, it's very, that, that, like, I, I, I would love to see the studio production of this, how they made that synth e piano sound that, that we're hearing. Uh, it's just very, very unique. And I like that. It's really, it's not something I've heard Kind of looks like a video game. Nice layered vocals. This is really interesting. We got like some it's pretty 80s heavily influenced. Um, you hear like the sizzle on like the, the kick snare? The ki uh, or like the build up right here? The toms really? Nice stereo. Uh, I have. Sweet reverb though. I almost, I almost thought that it was actually a separate take, like a screaming take, like like gritty scream. But I don't know if that was the case. On that reverb. Dude, that synth is so good. Still using the divide guitar. Interesting choice on that one. Interesting. That was killer, man. I liked it a lot. Cool song. That synth in there was wild. I really, really, really liked it. That like 
e piano xylophone style synth really cool hope you guys enjoyed that as always you can leave a comment if you did text me if you want to check uh have any requests or just want to say what's up and the best way to support the channel is checking out my own music if you want to support financially you can check out the patreon but i'll see you guys in the next video have a great day god bless and peace out